Thanks for locking in with 77 Flavors of Chicago. We're your host, Dario. And I'm Sarah, and I hope you're ready to learn with us. Today, we are learning about the one, the only, late Richard Hunt, a Chicagoan that you should know of. Yeah, buddy. But first, did you know, do you know, this is a trivia. Mm. This is a real trivia. There you go. Do you? You want to get the hang of it eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get there, you know. (laughs) Uh, 130 weeks in. I'm going to get it. Uh, but do you know what what, what is year? the question I'm trying to ask? What year? Yeah, yeah right. What year <laughs> was the first statue mm. or monument dedicated to a black woman here in Chicago? When was that built? Mm. And if you are an OG listener to the podcast. You should know this answer. You, you, you maybe you should know it. But you've been told this answer because we talked about it. That's how you would know it. Yeah. (laughs) 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 It has been told to you. It's it's been told to you. That's how people know things. Yeah, that is how people know things. I'm going to get, we we installed enough. Do you want to, you want me to give them an answer now? Yeah. All right. 2021. I did. (laughs) (laughs) That's petty. That's that's very petty, boy. (laughs) 2021 is the uh, correct answer. And if you got it right. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> and if you uh, got it wrong. <laughs> now, that's petty. That's a petty button. Stop. At least no one will know you got it wrong. Because no, you're no. probably listening to this by yourself <laughs> on your way to work or something. Wow. Well, no one knows. It's just, just you. <laughs> you could lie. Don't worry about going to work, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to work. You got to eat the live. Mm. Um, how was your week? I was the best thing that happened to you this week. That gummy mm. worm looking tastes good, ain't it? It is so good. <laughs> Smacking. Honestly, this was a very busy week. Yeah. Uh, it went by super fast. <laughs> yeah. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Anytime we're busy, I'm like, I'd rather us be busy than not busy. Yeah. Um, I agree. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. How was your week? <laughs> uh, this week was good. It was busy. It was very busy. Yeah. And I, I'm actually glad we we have a weekend where we don't got to do no homework. Guys, this is our first free weekend. In a while. In months. Yeah. More. Yeah. But what's more than months? No, not years. Months. <laughs> what's more than months? <laughs> but a lot of months. But a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, it's been a long time. And, but, but, but like, honestly, like I'm never complaining. No, no, no. You, work, good work is, busy work just, is good uh, work. Yeah. You know? I agree. But sometimes I just want to go thrift shopping without having to worry about the time. Yeah, I know. That's all. <laughs> right, right. right. Uh, I want to spend four hours at a grocery store. Yeah, right. You do want to. You I do. love going to like, so my, my grocery shopping is like it's four or five stores because every store I get mm-hmm. something different. Like mm. I like to go to the you butcher. You your shows, yeah, your stores. I, my shores. Sh- that's yeah. the shows. Whatever. Uh, I like to go to a butcher. I like to go to a bakery. I like to go to the Arabic store. I like to go to like a place where you get staples like Paper towels and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, grocery. You love grocery shopping. Grocery shopping is fun. It's just, it just, it just die if out. I, easy if everything for me. fails, I'm gonna be an Instacart shopper. Nah, we no. You ain't gotta do all no, that. For fun. I mean, for fun. <laughs> like I would enjoy that. Okay. <laughs> I would not. I wouldn't. I don't like grocery shopping. Yeah, I know. at all. I know you like ruin it. And it, the only time, few times that you've been with me, which was like at the beginning of our relationship. I was like, we're not doing this anymore. It wasn't that bad. It now, was horrendous. No, it wasn't. Now, yes, it was. I'm just learning about this right now. You, no, you, you know this. No, That's no, why no. You don't, I don't ask you to go with me anymore. No, 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 no. You ain't never expressed that it was horrendous. You ain't never said that. Damn. Maybe not. Maybe horrendous is too strong. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. You ruined the experience. Wow, that hurt too. Actually, <laughs> you know, like, I don't care how calm you say that. That but shit hurt. here's the thing. <laughs> It's like if I were to go with you to like Dodd Camera. Yeah, you would ruin it. <laughs> it would be I've, horrendous. I've gone with you a couple times. It was horrendous. No, <laughs> it was not. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you back. This shit hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I mean, <laughs> I'll be all right. <laughs> um, you don't even like to, like when w- the problem is you don't ruin it because you complain. You ruin <laughs> it because I stress myself because I'm like, I need to be in and out fast because then you're going to be like, like annoyed that we're Why there. Why do you make me go? I don't ever make you it's go. Some day, you it, never go with me to the. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Well, when why have would I you ever do that? made you go? <laughs> no, you. But in the beginning, like you just said. Yeah, and then I quickly stopped. I was trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? For the longevity of this relationship, stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I learned that quickly. Yeah. 
Anyway. And now I just call you when I get here so you can go downstairs and grab the shit out of the car. So do. One trip. I'm one trip, dude. <laughs> one take drip. My arms be looking like they got like shackles. No, not shackles on them. No, no, no. Mm, no, no, no. no. Oops, my bad. <laughs> nope. Oh, um, you know what I just realized? <laughs> you know what I just realized? Yeah. Uh, so we y'all, we started streaming our podcast on YouTube. So if right. you so now you can get video and audio. From the on the podcast, yes. Oh, oh. yeah. Your your mic is just constantly. Yeah. Oh, you mean like the vlogged video, and then the, and you can listen to the audio. The on, actual on official yeah. podcast audio, you can listen to. But it like, on YouTube. don't abandon the platform you're on now for YouTube. No, you can because that shit still count now. That's yeah, the point. Yeah. Like, so so I don't care what you listen to it on now. <laughs> as long as you get that spin. Yeah. If you want to, if you if you want to cancel your Spotify subscription. But here's the thing. When mm-hmm. you do that, this is what they got to figure out now. We played some music sometimes on this podcast. Mm, I wonder if they copyright it. did. Oh. We have like three or four episodes that the section of them can't play. Oh. Because. Well, that's all right. We but, don't do that anymore, I feel like. No, but, but it kind of it kind of sucks. That we don't have the option to. Right. Yeah. I mean, we no, we still can because it's still going to get spins. I mean, who. Uh, who listening to YouTube for uh, podcast? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's new, so you never know. You're right. You're right. But, like, uh, I'm still going to play the music. Man, I, I almost want to play music right now just to get it no, going. No, don't. Don't be petty. Don't <laughs> yeah. be petty. Yeah, that, Let's that, get into this episode. Let's get into the episode, y'all. Uh, time to toast up and uh, get get ready. But it's, it's, been, <laughs> <laughs> it's been, a, been a week, so I've been drinking all week. So this week, I'm just going to do some water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no getting bubbly on the podcast because I be hiccuping <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, for Here real. we go. So let, let me see if I can get the same crack. That's just that's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> mm, let me see. If, no, no, mm. no. No one wants to hear that. Stop. You ain't, come on. All right. There we go. We good. <laughs> <laughs> Refresh. Water tastes. We said this earlier. Water, water tastes, tastes like nothing. Way different. Yes, it do. Water has no taste. Water tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> water has <Bruh>. no taste. <laughs> It Don't, tastes good to me. Let's talk about something else. Richard Hunt, actually. Richard Hunt. Let's talk about Richard Hunt. So, uh, real quickly, Richard Hunt, uh, he passed away in uh, 2023. December, December 2023. 2023. Uh, Sometimes like, it takes you a minute to get there. I do. It do. <laughs> but I get there. I get Richard Hunt. Born in Chicago, South Side, 1934. Five, I'm sorry. September 12, 1935. Mm-hmm. Uh if you don't know who he is, we've been talking about him like you should know, uh, he, which you should. He was a very, very well decorated black sculptor, abstract sculptor, mm-hmm. used uh, materials to weld together and uh, create some very, very uh, powerful artwork. Yeah. We'll say that because we'll, we'll get into it. Uh, he had a, he had a uh, career that spanned about seven decades all over the world. All over Isn't the world. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I mean, could you could you imagine? No, I cannot. I actually. couldn't imagine. I, couldn't. I mean, I know there's people in other countries that listen to this, mm-hmm. but like that thought is just I refuse. You I, don't. I'm not believing it. Right. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, we don't have. I mean, we ain't got the kind of prolific. Uh, no, I know, you but know. I'm mean, like even at the scale that we are. Yeah, right. I don't want to think. Shout about out that. to Germany, man. Like shout out to the <laughs> shout out to Germany, y'all. Y'all be rocking with us. Yeah, for real. Yeah, y'all the second most listened to uh, country. Which let's, is, let's stop doing tangents. No, no, okay, yeah, right, yeah, right. Let's stop tangenting. Um, but uh, so he's he had a hundred and here's some cool breakdown. Here's a cool breakdown of how you know dope he was and how far his reach was. Mm-hmm. So he's got 160 plus pieces across 24 different states in the U.S. alone. Wow! And he is in a hundred or so museums around the world public museums around the world that's wild so if you are listening to this around the world then you can yeah if you are listening to this around the world then Mm. you can go check out his work yeah i'm sure and that's separate from his public art that you could just walk down the street and look at right yes right separate from that when you think about i just thought a hundred plus museums yeah around the world is a hundred and ninety uh seven almost 200 countries in the in the world Depends, he is in. Depends on who you ask. Right, right. I wonder. <laughs> no, it's a hundred night. That's that's a stat. That's a stat. Oh, oh I get. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Good point. Anyway. 
<laughs> I did not get that too late. Um, but uh, he got if if they are one country per world uh, per, per world. <laughs> One museum, one per, museum country. per country in the world. That's almost half the half the world seeing Richard Hunt. That's how dope he is. But I don't know if that's the stat. Definitely not. Well, I, I mean, there's probably like a ton of museums in the U. Most of these. I guess. I guess US. like it's what four museums here in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fair. That's, that's fair. So to talk a little bit about his life and how we kind of learned what we learned about him in the beginning and what inspired him really. So he was he's from Chicago, like you mentioned. Grew up on the south side, right? Mm-hmm. And um, went to like Ingle- Inglewood High School, right? Right. And obviously went to the Art Institute. And a bunch of other schools. Maybe not obviously. <laughs> right. <laughs> went right. to the Art Institute. And then while he was at the Art Institute when he was 19, he actually went to Emmett Till's uh, funeral, which was an open casket funeral. And if you all know anything about the Emmett Till funeral, we hope you do, for one. Uh, that's that's yeah, for kind of a big deal. Um, Emmett Till did not look like how you see your relative in a casket, or yeah. how you see a person that with some dignity, you know, laid in laid to rest, yeah. right? Uh, because of what happened to him, you know, the and story. How he was murdered. Yes, yeah. he was lynched and uh, muti- his face was mutilated, and that was part of the yeah. the thing of the open casket, casket, the purpose of it, right? And so him seeing that kind of sparked this idea that. It, this could have been him. He's a young man from Chicago. He was once a young boy, and he visited the South, and that that could have happened to him. And so it kind of um, created this thought that, like, his art wanted to center around freedom mm-hmm. and strength and power. And so um, from early on, before he even graduated from the Art Institute, that was kind of where his thought process was. Which gave us his first piece of artwork uh which was 1956 the hero's head mm-hmm. and that of course depicted timmy till's head yeah. uh and it was uh made of scrap metal and if you see if you look at it you can watch our uh video and you can see that yeah. it's uh kind of like a, a mutilated head mm-hmm. um it, but still a hero's head and the, the significance of that he's a, he was a hero you know what yeah. i mean like so um to sarah's point so that was his first piece yeah. Of work. And then in uh, 1964, he w- became a visiting artist at Yale. Obviously, at this point, he had graduated uh, from the Art Institute. He, you know, two years after Emmett Till's funeral, um, he was still a student, but he, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, purchased one of his pieces. The um, second piece. The second piece. Which came out the same year as Hero Head. Mm-hmm. I, this word would be kicking, kicking my butt. Uh, <laughs> can Arach- arachne mm. is that what it is we need to start re- looking up looking it up before yeah arachne <laughs> this is part of our stick though <laughs> it is it is we, we learned on the spot arachne I, it's, it, i'm pretty sure it's arachne 1956 arachne yeah, yeah um so like i said he he then um you know moved to new york and he moved back because yeah. he said he could like not that he couldn't afford to live in new york but he uh got a studio here in chicago in the 70s and he said he would have never been able to get this studio in new york uh anywhere and so that studio that he got is actually in what is now lincoln park it was also lincoln park at the time uh 1017 <laughs> west little avenue um and it's a pretty large building the building was once owned by the l and so it has super high f- uh, ceilings and um, just a pretty cool building on the outside, too, I think, right? Yeah. So uh, if you look, it's a very subtle detail to that, uh, the tall uh, ceilings. If you look at the windows, the windows are pretty large mm-hmm. and uh, kind of shows you that, hey, look, something going on in here. Yeah. That's where he had all his artwork. Now, that there's pictures you can see of they how are. it looked on the inside. Mm-hmm. Pretty dope. It looked like... Kind of a warehouse, a studio. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's it's huge. It looks like a big garage. Yeah. Like a big indoor garage. It's funny you say that because a lot of the materials he used were like par- car parts and pipes and stuff that he, he would like go down alleys looking for metal piece. Yeah. And so it's funny you said garage. Now, one thing that we you, you got to think about, I don't know if y'all caught that, but he was in New York, the MoMA, early on in his career yeah. that they actually said hey look we would like this piece mm-hmm. you know that's that's pretty 
significant, yeah. y'all. That's how yeah. dope he was at a at a beginning of the your career. Age. And then at thirty five, they bought like seventy of his or displayed seventy of his pieces. New York New, in MoMA. Yeah, dang. Crazy. Oh, we charged them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to New York, man. Y'all be listening. I, yeah. I know we be giving y'all sh- shit. Not like we give shit to Indiana, though. That's different. <laughs> that's, that's, that's different. <laughs> Indiana is different than New York. It is. It is. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, you should definitely go check out that building. It's um, right on Lil. Right next to uh, John Quill, which, which, fun fact. Oh, yeah. You can right there from there. You can see a sculpture. So if you want to go, like four of them, aren't they? Like yeah, they li- a little mini. Yeah, 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 three smaller ones, and then uh, the one big one right there, which is dope because you, if you want to go see it, and I'm sure y'all been by John Quill Park and you ran, you walked, yeah. you been to that park, you ate over there at the taco spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is that? Broken English. English. Yep, you've been to the. You got on the train. You've seen it. You know what's funny is I've seen it. We all seen it. The dog park that I take Campbell to sometimes is there. You don't even pay attention to it. And that's I the, never noticed it. Well, that's that's fair. Everybody, you don't got to feel like you you missed it. Yeah. You did. But, like, you ain't got to be. <laughs> you, don't let nobody you know? shame you like no. you should be. Mm. No, just play. <laughs> don't let anybody shame you. Don't let nobody bully you. That you, you know? didn't pay attention to shit. Yeah, you right. You should be walking right. around this earth. Aimlessly. Just aimlessly. Aimlessly. Oh. Hit history right in your face. You just, you just pass you it by. You know what, what's crazy is, like, I am always, we always know that Chicago has so much history that we just missed for years. But, like, it continues to do that. Like, now I feel like I am a lot more hyper aware of history as we're walking around. But I'm still shocked by the things that I don't notice. Like, how? I (laughs) mean. so much. Right. That's the thing. It's almost too much. It's like, it's. There's the, it's almost no way for everybody to know all the little details no, and sure, nuances sure. of Chicago because a That's lot of these here. a lot of these buildings right yeah right shoot keep us a job yeah, <laughs> don't learn yeah don't by yourself. Like, just stay stay <laughs> stupid no no just playing I'm just Stop. playing Stop. <laughs> <laughs> just just playing um, no but uh, yeah that's pretty dope that yeah. he uh, went he's got artwork uh, all over he does yeah there's a, there's a ton of artwork uh, all over the city that you can go see um, the next piece so if you if you are following along on our YouTube channel uh, which sounds different than this by the way so if you do listen to this you can also go watch the YouTube one it's it's uh, similar information but right. it looks a little different visual um, we then went to Bronzeville mm-hmm. where his um, the qu- trivia question answer is what we saw right yeah so, so- the answer to the trivia question is, uh, well, the trivia question was, what was the first <laughs> monument uh, dedicated to a black woman here in Chicago? So what year? Yeah. What year? It was 2021, and it is the Light of Truth monument mm-hmm. dedicated to the one, the only, Ida B. Wells, created by Richard Hunt. Yeah. Um, which, right there in a nice little park over in Bronzeville, a, a few paces away from her home where she lived, right. Here in Chicago, and it has a marker there, a monument marker, uh, so you can read up on it right mm-hmm. before you go in. But um, also, right there on the uh, uh, this, the Walk of Fame, they we call it here for uh, Bronzeville. So a lot of history right there. Yeah. But yeah, ain't that dope? The it's first a really, monument. It's a really nice park too. It's wide open and uh, in um, spacious there. Yeah, yeah. Super. Uh, we've been there. That was probably our third time for the for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Just doing some content. Oh, yeah, probably our second or second or third. I yeah. want to say second, second time uh, being there. But, yeah, dope piece of artwork. Yeah. Can you imagine that it's 2021 was the first monument, a city dedicated to a black woman? Let's talk about that. Uh, <laughs> like, cause, that is yeah, wild that, that is, to me. I mean, you had Ida B. Wills here. Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> so many. Bessie Coleman. You know what I mean? So many. <laughs> you, got, you got Artists, politicians, journalists, Man. authors. Like and 2021 so was the first monument? That's wild. That That's is wild. wild. Got to do better. Got to do better, y'all. So shout out to Richard Hunt. Taking it upon himself. Well, did did the city commission it? Man, shout out to Richard Hunt. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Richard Hunt, man. Regardless. Regardless. Uh, speaking of another uh, piece of work and black woman. You all, we've talked about this on the podcast again. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Vivian G. Harsh uh, collection over in uh, Woodson, uh, the uh, the Woodson, Woodson branch Fresh. of the uh, library, um, which is named after um, Carter G. Wilson, Woodson, that uh, 
was the creator of uh, Black Negro Week, which eventually became Black History Month. Black History Month, if you knew that, give yourself a coin. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so he has artwork, Jacob's Ladder, uh, which is right there in the little atrium of the of the uh, collection. collection. Yeah, yeah, of the collection. Uh, pretty dope, and it's like a two parter. Yeah, because part of it is in the in the sky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hanging from the ceiling, right. and then the other part is uh, very, at the base. Very, very cool uh, piece of art. Yeah. That whole collection is mind-blowing, yeah, by that the way. Don't make no sense. So Vivian uh, Harsh started the collection. Mm-hmm. We've done an episode on this. Yeah, yeah, you can go check, check it. There's out. a full episode just on this collection, so you can go look at that um, and listen to it. But she started the collection, and then obviously it was donated and continued by the library. But it is such a cool branch and such a cool collection like yeah a, and you said um the guy that's it's named after he uh what's it yeah uh so y- there's actually pictures of him at that first week yeah. like it's it's we just, saw him and touched it yeah right you know it's <laughs> so, so cool yeah it is uh, stacy stacy over there at, uh the the branch CPL. You know? yeah yeah um but so so there's there's what how many pieces did we name already we got the john quill part we got mm-hmm. um the uh the two first the two. The first two. Well, right, right. Well, those are those. I don't know where the hero's head is. Actually, good question. Good question. Because I looked it up. I, I don't know where that is. Um, but Arachne. But I'm talking about here in Chicago. Mm. Uh, Jack Will Park. Uh, there's Woodson. A, there's Branch. a lot that are um, not just in Chicago. There's right. some in uh, like Forest Park. There's some campuses that have some art that like he was commissioned uh, to do some art in campuses. So check. Maybe you're in a in a college or university that's in Illinois that and you don't know. There's he has a ton of work in D.C. Look up a picture because his, yeah. his artwork is very distinctive. Very. Very distinctive. Yeah. He was actually, when he first started, his methods were so unique to the time. The way he was welding and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, he learned a ton of technique at the university, uh, at the uh, um, art inst- like the institute, the school of the art institute. My God. Yeah, uh, what's going on? My ass. Damn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he also had his own, like he was just creative in his methods too at the time when no one else was working that way. Mind you, this is like the late sixties, fifties, seventies. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, he he kind of developed this uh, these cool techniques. So, his you can you can tell if it's a you. I think you can tell if it's a Richard Hunt piece. You could easily tell. Now, his style. I wonder if his uh, his his style of sculpting inspired the. Um, you know how like when you get the memorabilia, like the uh, like the stuff from like a. It's called tourism and they have like the motorcycles made out of like parts of metal and stuff like that mm. i wonder if that was inspired by him um i don't i'm not sure that it was but i will say he was inspired by um so like when we talk about this last sculpture our last stop on our episode was mm. at the art institute yeah and right now at the entryway of the art institute they have um a monument or a statue heroes construction heroes construction um uh, and the way it's described is that he he drew some uh, inspiration from you know Greek statues and um, just like heroes, right? Yeah. Like heroes yeah. throughout history, and kind of used that as um, inspo for yeah. his sculpture. Uh, Nineteen fifty-eight is when that one was created in uh, finished, and honestly, I think it's pretty dope that he has a piece of art. The first thing you see in the Art Institute of Chicago. That to me is like that. That is just insane, y'all. The first piece yeah. of work that you get that it you is, see, it's so cool. Yeah, like that <laughs> is, and it's and it's standing in a, a dope spot. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's on a nice little um, island because you walk up the stairs and you go up some more stairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. dope. Um, Honestly, I love the entrance to the art institute, and I love going up the stairs because you have you know the the t- the um, the tip. The t- <laughs> okay. What do you have? What do you, what do you have? <laughs> well, now you have the statue. Yeah. It's really cool to look yeah. at. Um, so speaking of, you know, earlier we talked about the uh, schools that he had been to. Let's talk about the awards because, like, oh my why, would, why would we talk about this guy and not talk about their awards? So I would say he's got, what, 18 Honorary degrees? Honorary degrees. When I looked, at, I was like, 18? Honorary. Now, Most of them are from Illinois, though, so that's really cute. Yeah. Honorary degrees. But then, all the other degrees he got from all the schools around here in Chicago. Wild. I mean, insane. Yeah. Like, it just... It, it, so, his accolades are, are so dope. And now, here's... 
I don't know if this is his biggest accolade. I, I don't I don't want to put that on his, uh, you know, his resume. But to me, if you want to see his last mm. piece of work that he ever did, it was the first piece commissioned by President Obama, former President Obama, yeah. uh, and uh, for the Obama Presidential Library that is going to open up 2025. That was the first piece of work commissioned from that library. Yeah. Called the Bird Book. Bird Book. And it yeah. will sit right at the uh, on the outside of the uh, library. And it is, like I said, the last piece that uh, Richard Hunt ever worked on. Completed, yeah. Completed. That is, that's going to be so dope to walk up and see and just that's and to know be. that because mm-hmm. you know you know it's going to be a big picture piece. You know everybody go look take right. pictures of it, right? And um, I cannot wait to kind of see it, knowing knowing what we know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you can also, if you're interested in seeing more, obviously Richard Hunt has a website. It's called Richard Hunt's Sculpture dot com. You can look at his art artist CV, which is. <laughs> like, yeah, right. You, you're gonna scroll yeah, forever. Yeah, because yeah, it this starts in 1958. Solo, ex- he got 160 just, plus solo ex- yeah, exhibitions. Yeah, look at this. Like, there's public art, public collections, uh, awards. Everything is on there. So, if you are <laughs> interested in learning more about him, uh, they're all in there. It lists even lists all of his honorary degrees. Uh, his uh, his Instagram page is also still active, obviously, because it's not yeah, run right. by him. It's run by his. Um, the, the the state the state yeah right. studio uh situation that he actually has people that he was uh working with on some of the sculptures that are completing things works that he started so they're going to be finishing some stuff that he wasn't able to finish so uh yeah you can see him at the art institute which is a great time honestly i had before like last year I had never been to the Art Institute, even though I'm a huge fan of art. Wait, say that again. Before last year, I had never been to the Art Institute. Mm. My, mind <laughs> you, I make like I go to museums any chance I get, but for some reason, <clears throat> I always like I just had never been to the Art Institute. That's interesting. It, you, it's you wild took, too. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean. Because I live here, I was like, "Oh, I'll go when I go." You know what and I mean? Now, keep in mind, we, we I feel like we got disclaim this all the time for new listeners. <laughs> you know, Sarah ain't from here, y'all. Right, like, right, so, right. so I mean, like, think about it. the average person. Just to give you not the average person, but like, there's people that we have met in the last two and a half years mm-hmm. that we've talked to mm-hmm. and heard from their mouth that in their thirties and forties and have never been downtown. to downtown Chicago. Sears Tower haven't been inside the um and, you Hancock. Know, we get it. Life gets busy. Right. And, like, My point is, is Sarah been here for uh, oh. six years. So, so you know what I mean. Like that's yeah. sh- that's not su- too surprising. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like that's not too surprising. Yeah. Well, I mean, I should have gone before, but I'm glad I got to go now. The thing I like the most is that the exhibits rotate. So, the, like, some that, what the what you say? Exhibits. The exhibits. Exhibits. Oh, uh, it sounds like you said exhibits. Why would I say exhibits? That's but we can run the tape back. That's, <laughs> no, 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 no. I heard Let's it. Let's not do that. <laughs> I don't like running the, tapes. The exhibits. Anyway, <laughs> exhibits <laughs> rotate, so okay. you are constantly seeing new art. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the art you love is len- like on loan somewhere else, which is sad. But there's a ton of art from. It's not like. We went to the MoMA, and I was like, okay, great. It's modern art everywhere. I should have known that, like, clicked in my brain. Mm-hmm. But the thing about the Art Institute is there's, like, Greek, there's Roman, there's modern, there's it's there's sculpture, there's painting. It's everything. So yeah, I, it's an experience. It, I feel like yeah. if you live here, you can probably also go in for free some uh, weekdays. It's, like, free for residents of, of yeah. the city. Yeah. Matter of fact, the day that we went, it was uh, free for yeah. Illinois residents. On Wednesday, it was free for yeah, Illinois right. residents. Yeah, right. So, so, boom. Played hooky from work and went. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> the whole they don't listen to this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know I do this. They don't. They go, the day they find out. Ooh. <laughs> you ain't going to be there. Ooh. The day they find out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One way or another, they, you My ain't going to be there. Actually. <laughs> Dang. The day they find out. Yeah, let's not talk about that day. They, it's all good. I'm not ready. It's all good. Hey, yeah. shit happens, you know? It does. <laughs> It does well. Well, uh, there we is, go. That is the very brief history of Richard Hunt. Obviously, there's a ton more that you can learn. There's uh, a lot of really cool documentaries out there about him. You can read some really great articles. There's some in the Tribune. Chicago Magazine has done a piece on him right before he passed. So make sure you check that out, and obviously visit the Art Institute. And if you like this episode, hey, please share it with someone you love. That's the best way to support us is to share our content and um, tell people that you love us. And if yeah. you did not love this episode, man. 
Just <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Then you do it then. <laughs> then, then, you, then, then, then you start the 77 flavors <laughs> if you ain't like it. No, that's all right. Maybe you can try next week and see if you like that. <laughs> right, right. We'll be here. Uh, till next time. Peace. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode and we hope you loved it. And if you could please follow us on social media at 77 Flavors Shy on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. If you have any ideas or deep dives that you'd love us to do, please contact us at media at 77 Flavors Shy. That's the number 77 Flavors and Shy for Chicago.com. If you like visuals, Please subscribe and follow and watch us on our YouTube channel at the same thing, 77 Flavors Shy, or search 77 Flavors of Chicago. If you would like to support us monetarily, go ahead and click that bus route link in the description of this episode. And as always, we gonna see you next week. Peace. <laughs>